We're going up in the world, boys. We've got our first sponsorship. Ooh! That's where you all go, ooh! So the lovely folks at AK saw our uh, snow bases video where we said that their snow materials were all really good. They saw the video and they got in touch to tell us that they thought it was terrible, but despite that, they wanted to do something for us. So they've sent us through some paints to have a look at. This is their new, you're better telling us what they are. What are they? The third generation paint line. Okay. Uh, I'd also like to point out little paint cups in the tray. Oh, oh that we're, that we're not gonna use. <laughs> Shout out to Craig. <laughs> Shut up. So they've sent us four sets and we're gonna be doing four videos where we uh, take a look at them all in detail. But first of all, we've got the orcs and green models. Specifically, so we're not painting an orc today. We're painting a green slad, and uh, voiceover Jonty is going to tell you more about the green slad right now. The green slad is a large aberration who can also shape change. First appearing way back in first edition, they are unusually intelligent compared to their brethren slad, spawned from arcane practitioners that underwent the slad reproductive process. These spellcasters can polymorph themselves into human forms, typically those of their former hosts. Thank you, voiceover John C. Isn't doesn't he sound a little like deeper and cleaner than than on video, yeah, John C? Yeah, it's weird, that isn't it? <laughs> so we've also got neon colour sets that we're looking forward to playing with. We've also got human flesh tones, which I think is one of the most difficult things to find in a bottle. Is a good flesh tone, so I'm excited to see those. And then also we've got a non-metallic metal pack that we're all. Uh, dreading, so <laughs> that one's probably going to be the last one. And then we're going to have a go. So we've got these green slads. Um, myself, Tim, and Jay are all going to paint them. So you're going to see how a, a newbie would paint and how some geeks some, will paint. Some <laughs> some oh, a newbie and the newbie and the geek. I'm totally going to make that a thing. <laughs> I've done it. They've already seen it. They've just seen the newbie and the geek yeah, thing. Yeah. They, they've they got a nice little uh, spot to put some paint in the top so you can match your colors. And I also really like the, the cap, easy twist off. So not only are we going to be having very different abilities painting these, we're also using some slightly different equipment. Uh, Tim's got a really nice brush that he's bought from home. Uh, so this is an AK brush as well. Mm -hmm. uh, trying it for the first time, so we'll see how it goes. It's a Kalinsky brush. And, and me and Jay have got some shite from in the workshop. <laughs> this is a royal and lag nickel. Okay, go! <laughs> We're gonna check in with how we get on painting those slads a little bit later on. But first, let's take a close-up look at some of the paints in this AK range and how they're gonna go on to create some great looking green skin. Tim is gonna be painting up this 3D printed little goblin boy. Starting off with a base layer of the dark green gray. Goes on really nicely, just one coat pretty much did this. And after that, pulling out all of the highlighted areas using a mix of dark green gray and olive green. Goes on pretty light, but dries a lot darker. After that, another coat of just pure olive green. Each time it's going on slightly smaller, leaving a little bit of the previous color showing at the edges. And the last coat, that golden orange, just picking out the highest points. And here's what the finished little guy looks like. Now let's see how we got on with those slants. So this was the dark green gray. This coated really well actually, I liked it a lot. That was a really nice color. And then what I did was did a mix of that with olive green and did a dry brush. And just dry brushed the whole thing, leaving a, a fair amount of the original showing and then did a line highlight with the olive green by itself and then picked out the boils and whatnot little bumps and stuff you can really see it on his face little bumps Let's bring it in yep yeah. the little bumps and whatnot you can see it and just did a really just picked them all out type thing so all right so i'm going to call my green done and I've gone for more of an emerald trio, apparently. Uh, I started with the dark green whoop, as a base, um, which I don't actually think went on as well as the gray green that uh, Jay used. I've not been a bad workman blaming my tools. Tim also used dark green and he agrees that it went on a little bit uh, 
uh, more, more tricky, it took a few coats. Um, but one thing we did notice is where there's the more detail, like on the face, it almost acted like a contrast from uh, Citadel or like a like a slightly thicker wash, I guess. So it brought out a lot of detail, actually. That was quite nice, but I just weren't quite ready for it. Uh, then I used the deeper green for uh, the first highlight, and then with the, all the boils and bits of goop, I used the light green. I'm really happy with that. I think that's come out really quite nice. So there we go. Uh, I thought the coverage was fantastic. Um, buttery smooth, barely had to shake it. Came out, came uh, right out of the bottle, ready to paint. Mm -hmm. um, no work. That's what I, I really appreciate. You know, just did a couple of thin coats for the deepest uh, base green and then just started layering from there. Wasn't lumpy, was just creamy smooth. Definitely two thumbs up for me for this first box. I like the fact that, like you said, you didn't shake the pot up a lot and when it came out, you didn't have all that water in the beginning of or whatever mm -hmm. it is that you need that, to normally mix. medium. Yeah. yeah. And it was uh, a nice consistency, very smooth how it went on. And it was a couple one, couple coats to do more than enough uh, for their first color. And uh, you were almost ready to your second color without even having to do much work. My comparative knowledge is, is less because, you know, I'm relatively new to painting. But uh, I found it went on really well. I think the colours out of the bottle all worked nicely with each other, um, and they blended well as well to get some of the uh, the gradients on the skin. And uh, and yeah, overall, I'm excited to uh, to move on to some of the other packs that we got based on this. Uh, I think our slab boys have turned out pretty sweet. I would hate to come up against three green slabs. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs>